What is up you guys, Ryan Brewer back here, the host of Michael Myers Reacts, and today I'm doing something different. I've never done anything like this. Um, I'm going to kind of change the channel up a little bit. I want to do a lot more Halloween content. I mean, that's where my channel came from. The channel name is Michael Myers Reacts, so I just feel like I should do more Halloween content. And I thought, why not start the series with this episode right here, talking about the original Halloween from 1978 and why it's a perfect horror film, in my opinion. Now, I know a lot of people's going to agree with me on this. I'm going to say things that people have said hundreds of times, but anytime you hear anyone say that Halloween 1978 is a perfect horror film, they're telling you the truth. Now, before I actually talk about the movie, let me tell you guys my, like, journey slash experience with Halloween 1978. I really owe a lot to this movie. This is one of the movies that made me the horror fan that I am today. Now, I'm not saying that I wouldn't be a hardcore horror fan if I didn't watch Halloween. You know, I still probably would be a hardcore horror fan, but Halloween is the one that really put me on the map as a horror fan. It's the one that made me want to explore the genre. And of course, I also have Fear Fest to thank for that because that's where I first watched Halloween 1978. So without Fear Fest, I probably wouldn't have been introduced to this movie so early on in my life. I was probably around the age of five. And honestly, Halloween, I just owe so much to it. I mean, without Halloween, I just... You guys probably wouldn't be watching this right now. I wouldn't have Michael Myers reacts. And that's why I also owe a lot to John Carpenter because John Carpenter is the creator of Michael Myers as well as Deborah Hill. Um, you know, Deborah Hill doesn't get the, the love that she deserves. I mean, she has a lot to do with the character of Michael Myers on Halloween. You know, she is a writer of the original film. I mean, of course, John Carpenter is our main guy. John Carpenter is the main reason for Halloween and the character of Michael Myers, but you got to give Deborah Hill some love because she has a lot to do with it as well. And it's kind of sad because I watch a lot of videos about Halloween 1978 and people don't really mention Deborah Hill. And Deborah Hill was also in Halloween. She played Myers a few times where um, outside of the Wallace's house and in the beginning of the movie with, you know, Michael as a child when her hand, it's her hand reaching into the drawer grabbing the knife, that's Deborah Hill's hand. So with that being said, rest in peace to Deborah Hill and of course thank you for being one of the writers on Halloween. So like I said, I, I think people need to acknowledge Deborah Hill more, but of course like I said, John Carpenter is our main guy. I love John Carpenter. I love everything that he pretty much has made. He is my favorite director of all time. He made my favorite horror movie of all time and in my opinion Halloween 1978 is perfect. Now when I say it's perfect, it's not actually perfect. Making a perfect movie is almost impossible, but to me Halloween 1978 is the closest you're going to get to a perfect horror movie, to a perfect slasher movie. It's just everything that I could ask for as a horror fan, and I think a lot of fans would, would agree with me of course. Um, Halloween 1978 is it's perfect. It's just one of those horror movies that you can watch thousands and thousands of times and it's never going to get old because it's a masterpiece. It's a timeless horror movie. Now, I do realize that Halloween 1978 doesn't have a lot of story. There, It's a very simple horror movie, but that's the strong point of the movie. It's very simple and very effective. And, and the thing that makes Halloween work is that it's almost realistic. I mean, anyone could, you know, put on a mask, go out, kill people. You could be babysitting that night and things can happen. I mean, it, it's a very realistic movie. That's what makes it scary. I mean, you know, you watch things like John Carpenter's The Thing, which I love The Thing, but obviously, you know, that's not going to happen. But Halloween, you know, Michael Myers, there are things that actually happen like that every day. And the simplicity of the movie is the beauty of the movie. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to make a slasher film. You don't need a heavy story to make a good slasher film. And it, it doesn't need to be too thought out or anything like that. I mean, a girl is babysitting and, and there's a loose mental patient. There's a crazy mental patient that is killing people for no reason. You know, there's no real motive behind Michael Myers, and that's another thing that absolutely makes him terrifying. Um, very little backstory, little to none, pretty much. I mean, obviously, we know that he killed his sister, Judith, but that's all we know, and he was locked up for 15 years, and now he's loose, and he's killing again. He's just a serial killer. He's just purely and simply evil, as Loomis said. And another thing, too, we got to talk about the characters that were created for this movie. Obviously, we have one of the best final girls of all time, Laurie Strode. Um, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is great in that role. I couldn't see anyone else playing um, 
Laurie Strode other than Jamie Lee Curtis. She was definitely made for this role. Um, Laurie Strode is an iconic character. Dr. Loomis is an iconic character. Michael Myers, I mean, I could just keep going on. Everybody knows, knows Bob. Everybody knows Linda, Annie. It's just insane how iconic this movie has become. And of course, this movie takes place on Halloween night, and it has that Halloween season feel. And that's another thing that really makes this movie amazing. I mean, Halloween is a, it's just timeless. It's a masterpiece. I can keep saying that over and over again, but it's absolutely true. I mean, if you're not a fan of Halloween 1978 and you call yourself a horror fan, are you really a horror fan? Now, I'm not saying you have to be a hardcore Halloween fan. I'm not saying that you have to absolutely love Halloween. Of course, you could like Nightmare on Elm Street better or Friday the 13th or Child's Play or Hellraiser, whatever it is, but you have to at least respect Halloween 1978. I mean, if you don't like that movie or you just don't, I, I, I don't know. I can't see how someone couldn't like the movie. It's honestly a horror movie that is untouchable. There's nothing that comes close to Halloween. Now, of course, there's a lot of classic horror movies. You got the universal classic monsters that, you know, can't really be touched either. You know, Friday the 13th up there, Nightmare on Elm Street, but Halloween, something about Halloween it's just, I feel like just everyone loves that movie. I really haven't met a lot of people that don't like Halloween. Pretty much any time I ask anyone about Halloween 1978, they are a fan of the movie. So it's one of those movies that's just untouchable. There's not going to be anything like it. Now, of course, we got the Halloween sequels, but even those movies don't have the feel of this first movie because John Carpenter is such a good director. The atmosphere just... It was a movie that was, was, was made for that time. I feel like 1978, the time that Carpenter made this movie, was perfect because there was like some sort of like magic. I, it's weird. It was like there was some sort of magic for this movie, and it just came out to be a masterpiece. I guess what I'm trying to say here is it, it was perfect timing for this movie. That's 1978 was the time, you know, where they filmed it was the place, and who they got for it were the people, and it just turned out really well. I mean, obviously, this isn't John Carpenter's biggest budget horror movie. It's actually a low-budget slasher movie, which is another thing that I think really helped it out because it, it just feels so gritty and real, and the movie is actually scary. There are still scenes in the movie that kind of creep me out, and I mean, the, the suspense in that movie, just everything about Halloween is is what a horror movie should be. I want to talk about a release that came out recently. I know this is kind of random, but I want to talk about a release that came out recently from Scream Factory, which is the Halloween 4K. If you guys don't have this, I do recommend it, especially if you are a fan of the original Halloween, because this is the best this movie has ever looked. I honestly don't think it's going to look better. Um, the special features are great in this. You even get the... Uh, the extended cut, which is, it basically has the TV inserts and the transfer on this. Like if you guys have the 2018 blue, not Blu-ray, if you guys have the 2018 4K of this for the 40th anniversary, definitely upgrade to the Scream Factory because it looks a lot better. Um, when I watched this, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I've never seen Halloween look this great. Um, so I definitely recommend this for Halloween fans. I just wanted to say that because um, I watched it and I was just blown away. Also, I am going to be unboxing all of the Halloween 4Ks from Scream Factory. That's coming very soon. That will be a video. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. But yeah, like I said, I highly recommend this 4K if you guys have not yet picked it up. So I want to give you guys a little update on my channel. Um, my channel is going to kind of change a little bit. I'm still going to be talking about horror, of course. Um, but I think my channel is going to be mostly just Halloween content. Now, for a little while. Of course, here and there, I might do some things like this that aren't Halloween related, but a majority of my content from now until who knows how long is going to be pretty much just Halloween content. So I'm basically kind of going back to my roots because when I started this channel, it was pretty much just Halloween videos, and I feel like that's what works most on my channel. We we are always on here talking about Halloween. We all love Halloween. I would say 95 to 90 percent of you guys on my channel are hardcore Halloween fans like I am. Um, don't don't get me wrong though. I'm still going to talk about other things at some point, but I just I really want to just talk about Halloween for a good little bit because this is where a lot of my success f comes from, and it's also where I met a lot of you guys. I honestly think it's amazing how a horror movie can get a group of people and, and bring them together. I mean, some of you guys, of course, I've never met personally, but it's like we've known each other for years, and I think that's a beautiful thing. I think that's really cool how Halloween 
the franchise or the movie, whatever, can bring us together and, and just have us act like we were friends for years. And you guys are my friends. You know, I love talking to you guys. I love doing these videos. Obviously, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this video and Halloween 1978. I know you guys love it. Um, I just wanted to get on here and talk about how perfect it is because it really is a perfect horror movie. I'm pretty sure you guys agree with me. I hope you guys like this style, like how I'm doing this video, because this is probably how I'm going to do it. I, I've seen a few people do this, and I really like this style. Um, this is sort of like a podcast show, but I don't really have a name for it. Maybe at some point I'll get a name for this. Um, I plan on doing these a lot. Um, I'm probably going to do Halloween 2 1981 next. I'm going to talk about why that's a perfect horror movie and a perfect horror sequel. And also expect a Halloween Kills review coming very soon. I'm going to see it um, on the 15th. I know some of you have already seen Halloween Kills. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have watched Halloween Kills yet. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to talk about it for, uh, with you guys of course like this but with that being said i'm going to wrap up the podcast here um expect more of these they're also going to be a lot longer than this one since this is the first one i didn't want to make it super long um i think this was a pretty good episode if you guys did enjoy this please leave a like and subscribe that would be much appreciated if you're a halloween fan and you love the franchise this is the place for you so please hit that sub sub sub, sub subscribe button um so with that being said i will see you guys on the next video